I have the power! Hey, it's Jake Old Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios, home of Midnight Science Club. And today we're just sitting here in the studio, three of the kids from the neighborhood and me. Who are you? I'm Ethan. That's Ethan. A wit, a wizard in training. A wizard in training. And who's that standing next to you, buddy? How could you forget me? I'm Elliot, of course. Elliot, of course. Is that your middle name? No. And this is a new kid to the neighborhood, right? Yep. Do you know his name? A.Y. That's A.Y. Yeah. A -Y. This is Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. A.Y. Young. An established uh, rock star. What, what kind of music do you do? Music for impact. Mu impact music. Oh. The world's, world's leading impact musician. He's right here in the studio. We're going to do five activities with one of our favorite chemical elements, nitrogen. 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 You're gonna, and you're going to draw a conclusion and think like a scientist to this one question. Now, I want you to put your hand on this table. And don't say anything, I just want you to notice the temperature of that table. I just want you to think about it. Just sit there, what temperature is this table? What in the world would that have to do with nitrogen? The temperature of a table. Oh, by the way, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever experienced nitrogen? Uh, isn't it in the air? So what experience have you had with nitrogen? Breathing it in and out, I think so. <sighs> From the day you were born, your first breath was mostly what? Nitrogen? Yep, a little bit of oxygen, but mostly nitrogen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there it's been your whole life. We captured some nitrogen and squeezed it. Here, try it. Just squeeze some nitrogen. And if I took it down and squeezed it and squeezed it and squeezed it, what do you think you'd get? Liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen. And right over here behind us, we've got, I don't know, it's probably about 25, 30 gallons mm, of wow. what used to be in the air. It got squeezed together, compressed to liquid nitrogen. And I think well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you go over and measure the temperature. Ethan, what, what's the thermometer read now? Okay, let's see. Right now it says 73.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, 73 degrees, right here in the room. Negative 278 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know, you said 278 or 178? Negative 278 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you sure about that? Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah. Minus 270 Holy degrees. Holy. Wait, no, now it says 280. Negative 280 that degrees. That doesn't even sound That's possible. 280 degrees below zero. So AY. Yeah. I had to have the kids go because this is what we're going to do now is a little dangerous, right? There's another gas when we inhale. What's the other gas? Oxygen. Oxygen, man, it's good. The oxygen. I and still know a little bit. Uh, uh, you just all know a little bit, right? So here's a device that we put together to demonstrate the very rare liquid oxygen. You know, if this was a, a iced tea glass and the sweat on the outside or something, that condensation, yeah. uh, that's the yeah. moisture in the air, uh -huh. right? The water molecules in the air come around here and they go, ooh, cold. And they collect and drip them. Well, at 200 degrees below zero, it's not going to be the water that comes in here. It, a little bit will, of course. The oxygen in the air. Wait, it turns the oxygen to liquid? Yeah, it turns, yeah. Me. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, we'll get. Yo. Yeah, I know. It's really, it's a rare thing. So what we're going to do is put some liquid nitrogen inside and the oxygen in the air, if this works, will condense and it will drip right off of here liquid and the, the little dish right oxygen. down there and so we're going to collect liquid oxygen right before your eyes it's a very rare thing to see doesn't that just look tasty guys down the hatch <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's, a that. that's a cold lid that's a cold lid man you pick that up and just carefully pour it in here i'll stand yeah. back Ooh, yeah. yo now i feel like a real wizard can you see some dripping happen right there yep. you see that drip 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 totally that's liquid oxygen? That's liquid oxygen dripping Bro. off of there. You see it dripping off? See right along that line right there? Where would you see liquid oxygen? Only uh, when you're with the wizard. Yeah, only with you're with the wizard or <laughs> you know, some science. And, and it, it's medical uses for it too and other things like that. But very rare that we get to make some liquid oxygen right there. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, man. Now there's something that's really kind of neat just for fun. Does that have a color to the oxygen? Honestly, bro, that's a little bluish. It is it? bluish. It's bluish. Pale blue, that's its color. Oh, that's the actual color. Well, that's the actual it. color of liquid oxygen. It has nothing oxygen. to do with the gloves that I wore. No, it has nothing to do with okay, the gloves. Cool. <laughs> that's something else. So I tell you what we're going to do. Bro, what are we, what are what, we what doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> like the mesh, and I'm going to light this piece of cotton. Okay, let's see what happens if I stick that in there. Do you see that liquid oxygen hitting it? That's crazy, though. Oh, you see it hitting? Yeah. Oh, boom. So it's helping disintegrate the Well, let's just think about it. Like I'm when, the, when the cotton's burning, 
what's it doing? It's combining with, with oxygen. The oxygen. But the oxygen air is only 20% oxygen. But when the pure oxygen hits it, sweet. Like fireworks. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we have to have oxygen to breathe, but we wouldn't do too well if it was pure oxygen, would we? Literally. Burst into flames. Yeah. yeah. We you were literally, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're literally blowing up a cotton ball, bro. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. We're going to have some more fun. I think the kids are going to come over here and teach you some more about liquid nitrogen. Let's do I want to see, what, uh, see how well they do. I'm not going to be about six inches tall. I have to. So AY is going to put that in. <laughs> wow. It's too tall, good. Hey, AY. What's up, man? I'm going to show you something that only a scientist would love. I can boil something with ice. That's not possible, man. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to show you. The thing we're going to boil is liquid nitrogen. Perfect. All right, then we're going to put it on the ice. Yeah. Top on the kettle. <laughs> That's like a choo-choo train. So you think that the ice is cold, but actually it's hot compared to the liquid nitrogen that Wait, we put the, in the, the kettle. Wait, the ice is hot compared to the liquid, liquid nitrogen? nitrogen. Yeah, because oh, the, we shoot. measured the temperature of the liquid nitrogen and it was what, negative 280 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this is literally, look at this. Now that's a cool kettle. Well, if you think that was cool, I think my brother can show you something even cooler. Heck yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> this kid's too great. So, AY, you asked me this question of what exactly would happen if I just stuck my hand inside of that. Well, I have a way to answer that without actually destroying my hand. So, take these. I was gonna eat this apple, but okay. No, you can't Ooh. eat it. You no. have to grab it no. okay. with those tongs, okay? And then slowly lower it into the liquid nitrogen. Easy does it. Oh, snaps. Now we just leave it there for a while till it finishes cooking. Since this liquid nitrogen is so cold, every like little cell inside that apple is freezing. So it's cooking, but it's freezing. Yes, we're, we're cooking it with cold rather than heat. I mean, it literally looks like a fish fry right now. I mean, this is, you know, cause I'll be eating the fish and put it in the hot oil, except yeah. it's not hot oil. This liquid nitrogen is crazy cold. So when we put the apple in, it's heating up the liquid nitrogen so much that it's actually boiling the liquid nitrogen. That's why okay. there's all these bubbles. I think it's starting to slow down its boiling. So that means that it's probably close to the time to take out the totally. apple because the apple will have almost zero heat left in it. So now take it out. All right. That's like rock solid. Yeah. I mean, literally rock solid. Do you hear that? I can face the feel like that's pretty hard. And now for the final step. Here we go. <laughs> wow, that worked out even better than I thought it would. Yo, this is crazy. It's yeah. smoking. Yeah, that was absolutely nuts. It still is completely frozen. It's completely frozen. All the pieces, they're all frozen. If you think this was crazy, we have even more demonstrations that will blow your mind. Whoa. Yo, Ethan, like, why do I have balloons, dude? You guys said we're gonna do something with liquid nitrogen. Well, you saw what liquid nitrogen could do to an apple, right? Yeah. Well, let's see what it can do to balloons. So what do you think will happen when we put the balloons into the liquid nitrogen like we did with the apple? Ooh, that's a lot deeper than the other one. The apple got really, it got rock solid, right? Yeah. So maybe this will get really strong. Let's try it. I mean, Ooh, it's I negative heard something. 280 something degrees. I just heard something. Ooh, it's, look at that, it's just, shr it's shrinking. The air is getting out of, Whoa. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, it's so and tiny. And now, wait, it's it's growing back. What? Watch out, dude, it's growing. It's good. It's... Oh my, what happened? Whoa, do you hear that? Wow. That is so cool. Huh? Huh? What's shrinking down in here? Like, it's there's more than just the balloon shrinking, right? So the science behind this is that when air that molecules inside, here, right? inside the balloon get colder, they slow down. And so they, they stop moving around. And so they take up less space. And when we take them out, 
as I'm taking it out. Then they get warmer and they get excited and they go around and so then they take up more space. And they expand. Yes. Yo, this was crazy. Let's go to the grand finale. It's going to be crazier. Hey, Wyatt, they did some neat tricks with you, right? Yeah, that was awesome. And we're ready to do one more. Oh, um, But more. before we do, I want you to grab your beard. Sorry, put your hand on your beard. Say no. Jake yeah. asked me when I first put my hand down on that desk what it felt like, and you said it was what? Back then, you would have said it was... Cold, cold. If you compare that to the rest of the universe, how was that tabletop? It's it really hot. hot. It's hot. That apple had a lot of heat in it, right? We also have a liquid here as water. We're going to make a cloud. This has a lot of heat in it, and this is what happens when warm, moist this air. Has a lot of heat. This is warm, moist air, and this is cold. So you're going to dump that in. I'll see if we can make a cloud. So let's all, right, all so step back all and say, is. in case we have an accident, everybody say goodbye, AY. Goodbye, goodbye AY. AY. It's been nice Good knowing you. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back here. Yeah, wait. He's gone, in the clouds. Yo. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here at Midnight Science. Can you imagine what happens here? All the time things crazy. like this happen. It's crazy place, isn't it? <laughs> we made a cloud. Blowing it. Ah, there we go.